Now, if you've noticed, we've already got two of our three tables that we want to build in place. So I've got my invoice table we've just designed. And you notice, again, it has a foreign key to my uh, visit table. Well, my visit table then, in turn, has, if we change the view on it, it has a visit ID, the primary key. I can add that in right now, primary key. But it also has this patient ID. Now, just like the visit ID inside of invoice, this is actually a foreign key, foreign key to the patient table. Now, the patient table, where is it? I Well, it doesn't exist right now. But instead of me going through the process of building one out, we've actually already been given it in our Kelly database. Now that Kelly database, if I opened it up, you're gonna see that all it shows me is patient, it's empty. Let me move that down so you guys can actually see that. Uh, let's see, center, fit to screen, position, oh. there we are. So you can see all it is right now is just that. Here we are, there you go. So I wanna take this data and I wanna put it into our Chatham database. Now to do that, I'm gonna head over to my external data tab. Now my external data tab, oh, let me close out of these guys as well. Yes, and yes. Now my external data tab, notice how I have an import and link section. That import and link section, that allows me to import data. For example, from another database, from another access file. And if we go forward and we look for our database, again, my Kelly database is what has kind of the structure of the patient table. And I say okay, I get this dialog box. Now if I just hit okay, nothing happens. Congratulations, you gotta do it again. But if I go through it again, I have to explicitly select what I want because it's asking me what parts of the database do I want to import. Right now there's only one table in that Kelly database, but there could be multiple tables. There could be multiple queries, forms, reports, macros, modules, all these other things. The other thing is I do want to specify that I only want the definitions. I don't want any of the data in my database. So I select that options button to expand that out and definition and just allows me to have some other things if I need them. If I hit OK, all right, oh, congratulations. Do you want to save these steps? No, we don't really need to save the steps. As soon as we hit close, notice we get a patient table. And when I double click on it, I get now the structure of that patient table. 